Hey there, it's your girl Simply Love. I'm here to do your weekly reading. Yes, I'm doing weeklies now. Um, seeing how that works out, giving a trial um, by a lot of people that uh, emailed me wanting to, you know, get some weeklies. They feel like it might benefit a lot more people, um, being uh, a lot more open to more people uh, with more messages, okay? So we're going to try that out, see how it works, okay? If you don't mind hitting that like button if you like to. Subscribe, share if you'd like to. That's all up to you. I really appreciate it. Um, so here we're going to do Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for Pisces. We want to take this time out to, you know, give an honor to our ancestors and spirit guides because they're the ones who's, you know, giving us the messages, us readers here, so we can pass on the messages to you. They know what's best now. They're no longer here in the physical. They're free, all right, and they see everything. So we, we, we have to give an honor to them. We have to listen to the messages that they have. And, you know, our most high creator, we have to give him some honor. You know, thank you so much. I appreciate you, the spirit guides. I really do for using me as a tool to deliver messages to you guys out here. And that's all I'm here for. That's that's what I'm supposed to do. And I love doing this, okay? Regardless who love me or not, that, that's irrelevant. You know, that has nothing to do with anything. This is what I love to do. All right, so I'm going to keep on doing it. doesn't matter what, what goes on as far as YouTube is concerned. All right, I'm just here to put them messages out here. And, you know, if you like personal private reading, I'll get with you on that. That's going to be, you know, personal and private and see what your spirit guides have to say. And that's it. All right. Please don't take these messages and, you know, do something hasty in your life, okay? Because... There's a billion of people out here. These are just general readings. For some of y'all, it's going to, you know, hit the nail on the on the pole. Hit that comment section. Let me know. But, you know, that I, I get a lot of that. And a lot of emails, people, you know, oh, that, that sounds like me and this and that. But, you know, that's not the total story. You know, you do have a future. You want to find out what's going on. You need to have some purpose and some direction. All right? Remember, these energies are fluid. Just because it's from the 21st to the 27th doesn't mean that it's actually going to happen at that time. And you know why? Because energy is fluid when it comes to spirit. They don't have no time zone. They ain't walking around with clocks. So it's, you know, energy is fluid. You know what I mean? There's no time. Spirit has no time. They don't have no clock. So it's just an illusion what we're dealing with here. Anything on this earth is, is, is an illusion. All right, when it comes to things like that, especially material things, it's an illusion. It doesn't last forever. It's just a temporary fix, okay? We, we're here to talk about something that's going to last forever, especially when it comes to your personal private reading. I think everybody should get one at some stage in their life. Find somebody that you trust. Don't have to necessarily be me, okay? So remember that, um, you know, you guys that's cross-watching, y'all welcome. Come on. Come on, it's open for you guys too. You know, you know that. <laughs> then uh, just remember that uh, the energies could go vice versa. You guys have to put all that yourself because this is just general, okay? All right, so here we go with the king or queen of wands, okay? Somebody who who's a good orchestrator, somebody who is very passionate, Somebody who is very, you know, probably sexual, okay? Whether it's a male or a female, they look good, they smell good. Um, very, very attractive, okay? And very confident as well. These people are hard workers and pretty much take control of their life. They're very confident, okay? Um, most of them always like to do business on their own, like have their own business or something like that or, or be a leader. This is a leader right here, okay? Okay, so you're dealing with uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, Pisces. So we got a lot of uh, heated energy going on here. Some of you are dealing with them Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here with the Four of Wands. Okay, that's the 1111. I call that my soulmate card. I, that, that, that perfect combination. Perfect combination. Perfect combination. I don't know all the words, y'all, but you know what I'm talking about. That's that 1111 effect. You know, that soulmate there, that uh, soul tie. Somebody that you know you, you can do you know balance things out together, work together as a uh, as a couple. That that you know that energy there that brings in you know excitement and, and and power and passion and all that good stuff when it comes to the 
the four of wands it's like very you know heated energy very exciting energy energetic energy you know two people who are excited of being together with that 11 11 yeah okay so we got the four of cups here why is the four of cups here after this energy that's coming up here this soulmate energy okay four of cups is like somebody missing out on an opportunity okay could be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know. It could be some of y'all can have it in your natal chart or your partner or your cross watcher. Who knows? Like I said, this is a general reading here, but somebody's missing out on an opportunity here or somebody's being, you know, ignored. Somebody could be very bored in the situation, okay? Uh, but I want to go ahead on and see what that's all about right now. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the message you have? I know you threw that in my hand, but I don't feel like that was it. What's the message you... What, what's going on with this Four of uh, Cups? Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, not come out yet, y'all. Bunch of them fall out. What's going on with this Four of Cups? It's the Fool. Stepping out on a brand new adventure, okay? That's the adventure card. You're dealing with an Aquarius, Okay. Somebody is ignoring or bored with something because they want a new beginning. Somebody wants a new start on something. That's weird with the 11-11 the card here. Somebody's, somebody feels like they're in a soulmate connection, like they could really work with somebody here and very confident about it as well. Could be a marriage we're talking about here because the four of wands represents a marriage, a happy home, a living situation. Could be a living situation for some of you. But somebody wants to take a, a leap of faith into something new. They want to like start all over again. Maybe it could be starting all over again, but somebody's missed out on the opportunity though. Somebody's bored. Somebody don't want it. Okay. Somebody's got some decisions to make here, fooling around, okay, with the lovers. You know, a relationship, there needs to be a decision made in this relationship. You see, there are three people that are like, what What are you going to do here, okay? What are you going to do about this relationship? What's, what's going to take place here? Um, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. What's going to take place? I feel like somebody's just going to, you know, want to uh, pull it together, just like take some type of action. This is an action card. It's Major Arcana as well, just as well as the Lover's card. Two Major Arcana sitting down here just as well as the Fool card. So we got a lot of destined stuff happening here in your reading here, uh, Pisces. I feel like, you know, some of you may be getting a new car. I'm just hearing that. Some of you may be getting a new car, got a new car or something like that. But anyhow, you know, when it comes to the relationship, it's like somebody wants to just is geared up, pulling their self together here with the yin and the yang. See the little white horse and the black horse, you know, um, if these two can't come together, you know, how are you going to pull it? You understand? So you take control of your life here and, and you know, this yin and yang, the dark and the light side here, you kind of like had them to work, come together. You know, it takes a lot of um, patience and uh, um, a lot of uh, self-worth to, to do this. But you pulled it off, Pisces, okay? You're going places, all right? It looks like you pulled things together here, all right? And, and just going to make a... I, I'm seeing a lot of new beginnings for you, Pisces. I really do. I feel like there's somebody who here who is kind of demanding with your life but I just feel like you want to move forward I feel like you're not interested anymore I feel like you're bored with this person sorry with this energy here I feel like you're bored or just like I said some of you could be missing out on opportunity depending on who we talking to here I feel like you know you know it's time to make that choice you know it's time to figure out what you want to do with this relationship and you know with the fool card here and 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 the chariot it's just saying it's you know i feel like a lot of you just want to start a new beginning you want to start all over again a chariot is a very very good card to have some of you talking to a cancer very good card to have that's about you know victorious being victorious some of y'all just want to move, be victorious some of you maybe just want to be victorious in a, in a choice of a relationship here we go with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is having it all, you know, the house, the car, the kids, the generational wealth, the money, all that, okay? This is the um, the completion, 
you know, somebody wants it all, period. And that's what somebody's rushing to do, okay, to have it all with someone. Could be with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The kids, the house, the grandmother, the grandfather. Somebody just wants to be totally happy here and, and completed. Somebody is coming to a completion when it comes to a relationship. You know, and they're going to be very victorious at it. Putting they all in all, moving forward, okay? Here we got the Empress, you know? So the Empress, you know, some of you could be, you know, ha you know it could be a family situation here where, it's, you know, somebody's going to have a baby, all right? Or it's just some type of rebirth with inside yourself. Some of you are really reaping the harvest of, of what you sow, okay? Uh, the empress or the emperor is usually very blessed. They're usually in a relationship or usually married to someone. Um, very grounded energy as well, too, with the emperor and empresses, empress here. Somebody's taking on that energy there, and they really, like, look, she's got the crown, all the greenery, all the fruits, all the everything around her. She just, like, naturally comes to her, all right, or him. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or a... Taurus, but definitely some good harvesting coming out of this situation. That's what you're looking forward to there, Pisces. Looking forward to that, definitely, with the chariot being here. It's like you really taking on responsibility for your life and your love life, all right? You got the three of pentacles here, and this does talk about a relationship, okay? Talks about somebody wanting to work with someone. All right, working together, all right, could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Definitely see some potential there of something be new beginning because the 10 is all about new beginnings, okay? Starting that brand new start, the full start. And I see a lot of new beginnings going on with you guys. Look, being victorious, new beginnings, being very, very, you know, that, that, Taking on that Empress energy of, you know, she's crowned it, cra uh, crowned, see, by the universe. This is all about, you know, uh, natural abilities, qualities coming naturally, just coming to you from the universe and creating this new relationship, this new bond with someone. Okay, here's the Page of Wands excitement. Wow, Pisces exciting somebody's excited about some you know communication messages coming in a exciting message something that's got you all giddy and happy okay that this 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 page is going to deliver here and it's coming in pretty pretty fast okay or we could be just talking about a, a child here somebody a, you know somebody is giving birth okay because this is the birth card you know for some of you, could be you know that you know hearing about that child being born, your ch your child coming into this world, and it brings some excitement and some rebirth. You know, feeling like this is going to be a generational thing. Okay, new beginnings, new starts, and now we got the Ace of Cups. Wow, this is a blessing. Okay, a lot of you Pisces out there, male or females, getting ready to get a big blessing, an overwhelming joy of love, of self-love, of, you know, uh, uh, somebody, something new coming into the world, you know, uh, a new relationship that's that's really going to take off here, having it all, okay, the, the child, the grandmother, the grandfather, generation, history, money, you know, being comfortable, okay? Very exciting news, okay? Uh, Pisces, very exciting. And, and, you know, that Ace of Cups just put the cherry on the top right there. That's, you know, that's that really is a new beginning of, of love, okay? New beginning, all right? Somebody here could be even getting married, engaged to. That could be the exciting news as well. So, wow, Pisces, loving it. Loving the energies that's coming in. Loving it. The tower here, but it's in reverse. Thank goodness, okay? All right. Usually, when it's in the upright, it talks about chaos. It talks about sudden that something suddenly happened unexpectedly. But I feel like you know somebody's you know you know ditched you know kind of like got away from that tower moment. Okay, 
and just move forward here. That tower is a major arcana, y'all. Y'all could be talking to some type of fire sign or air sign, okay? So, you dodged a bullet is what I'm seeing. Somebody dodged a bullet here, okay? And, um, yeah, made that right choice. Made the choice that you needed to make. And now you're just carrying on, okay? Moving forward, okay? Uh, with stability, okay? This is stable here. Stable. A lot of stability here. A lot of uh, blessings. A lot of blessings for you, Pisces, in this relationship for some of you out there. A lot of, lots and lots of blessings. All right. Yep, look, the old sun card, Major Arcana. How many Major Arcanas have we got here? One, two, three, four, and five. We have five Major Arcana cards. You guys got some, you know, really high energy moving here your way. All right. This talks about joy and happiness. This talks about rebirth as well. I see a lot of rebirths going on, a lot of uh, things coming to you. Uh through your spirit guides, your ancestors, you know, very much looking after you. They want you to feel the sun, okay? They want you to feel the sun. Some of you could be having a sun, okay? A, your child could be a sun for some of you. Hit the comment section, okay? Um, I feel like this is feeling the most joyous time of your life, okay? The, the most joyous time of your life is here. All right, yeah, you, somebody experienced the death. Another major arcana card. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana cards, uh, Pisces. You guys are, are headed in the, uh, the right direction here. You know, you're really pulling it together. Somebody done some type of work on themselves here. They experienced the death, okay? This is not an actual death. This is death of, you know, the ego. We all bore, you know, we all come up with some type of egotistic ways because of the way we've been taught, the things that we've been taught. We develop this ego. And the, once you develop ego, it separates you from the spiritual the spiritual world, okay? And, and what you were where you came from. And they try to dilute your uh your intelligence, they try to dilute your spirituality, they try to, you know, pull you away from your uh creator so you can be um narcissistic. You know, so you can be narcissistic, you know, think of nobody but self. But, you know, once you come to this um, moment of death and transformation, you get rid of all that, that ego, that ego goes away. You don't no longer serves you anymore. People, places and things that have egos attached to it. You no longer want anything to do with it. Relationships that don't serve you. You want nothing more to do with it, with this transformation card here. That's very good in your life here, Pisces. Man, I have to keep going on. Two more cards. I'm going to let you guys go to next, next week, okay? All right, so we got the Nine of Swords. Okay, here. What, with your transformation here, being here, this transformation, you becoming a new. Um, it's like you start your life all over again, but it's you know going to be more spiritually and grounded or, or oriented without that ego getting in the way that causes, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of people that, no longer serves you and you know somebody's gonna be very distraught regarding this this change this manifestation with inside yourself they're like oh my god what am i gonna do now my bread and butter is gone or something um somebody's really yeah gonna be very distraught somebody's gonna be very uh, de uh have some type of depression over a loss over a loss of someone you know, this is somebody just, you know, like I said, leaving a situation behind that no longer serves them and it's going to destroy somebody um, and, and make them very depressed. Okay, because they, I feel, I'm, I'm hearing the energy that they thought they really had you, uh, Pisces. They thought you, they had you in the back pocket where they can just come, go back there. You know how men have, you know, wallets in their back pocket. When they need something, they just take it out, you know, look in there, give it and then put it back. That's, that's the mentality of someone I feel like you used to deal with. And that, that ego has been broken and now they're all in distraught about it. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that you might be had talked to here in the past that you used to be with there. So now, you know, who's got the, who's got their wheel of fortune now that you got rid of that situation and, you know, it was a transformation time, you know, you got rid of people, play, 
people, places, and things that no longer serve you now that, you know, you got that joy and that happiness. You got the wheel turning in your favor. There's no fortunate situation coming up here, Pisces. My God, you got all these major arcana cards here. So this is destiny. When you get major arcana cards like this is some heavy destined energy coming your way and you need to prepare for it if you need to get yourself a personal private reading you're welcome you know to contact me here and see exactly where you, you are all going in, in on your own path here but this is just general see so definitely some destiny some good destiny things happen in, in, in your future okay the wheel is now turning in your favor now that you done got rid of some body or that you used to deal with come on here <laughs> um i feel like uh you know they're all distraught now i mean you can't feel sorry for them like i said they thought they had you in, they thought they had you in the bag there uh pisces but uh you know you came up and bust a groove on them okay you kind of like <laughs> i don't feel like they was ready for this transformation that you had here because hey, your your whole vibe here is about brand new, starting everything all over again. You want the family, you want the and you want the money, you want the white picket fence, you want you know your family members involved, and you want them all happy. You want a family with this empress being here. You want that pregnancy. Some of you are pregnant, okay, and and you know you want that working together. You want that stability, okay. You want that. Y'all brain power working together, okay? And there's a sense of excitement. There's some good news coming in here, boy. And it's going to bring on some everlasting blessings, okay? It, whether it's, you know, a, with a relationship. That's, you know, that's what the ace is all about. It's like everything. It's everything. It's all things, okay? You got that sun there working for you. You dodged a bullet with something, you know, something, some type of catastrophe. You kind of dodged that. And now the sun is shining your way, all right? You got the beauty of the sun. That's 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 the sun and the chariot is like along with the let's look at these major arcanas going on. You know, good fortune coming up here, okay? Total transformation. You know, you 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 you've dealt with your demons here, okay? Or or, or somebody who was like this, okay? You got you know a lot of newness coming up here. See that the major arcana cards is talking about movement, uh newness something new okay being better you know being uh, blessed being reborn doing it again childbirth okay we got a lot of that going on with you pisces and you know i'm so happy for you guys really 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 if that resonated with you please hit hit the like button and um tell me about it in the comment section if you'd like okay because I, I love to hear you guys comments regarding the reading really do Share it with some of some some of your friends that you think that might may, maybe it might benefit them. Share that, or if you know somebody that may be going through this, share it. I really appreciate it. Let the word out. All right, let's take a look at uh, a relationship. You guys can get these on your own and shuffle them. It got the messages right on them. You ain't got to look nothing up. You ain't got to look in no book. Okay. Thank you all who purchased. I really, really appreciate you guys. Really do. All the cards that's available is on the web website, you guys. Yeah, there it goes, y'all. That newness, okay? That newness, miracle and manifestation. That's that's y'all, that's y'all uh theme. Okay, newness, manifestation, you know, your dream is coming, it's, it's coming to a reality. What you dream of is coming to a reality. What you manifest is coming to reality. It's all about manifestation, y'all. All about manifestation. Okay, find yourself. You found yourself. That reminds me of the death card in the major, you know, in the uh, tarot deck, Okay. This reminds me sort of like the uh, Empress or the Star card, too. There's a lot of energy like that. So these are kind of high cards, like you found yourself, okay? You had to look deep inside yourself and and, and face and, and see what you needed to do for you. Yay, Pisces. You go. 
too. Now we're gonna let you on out of here, okay? Until next week, all right? We're gonna let you out of here. We're gonna end the reading with Confessions of a Doll. You guys are welcome to purchase all the information listed below on how to get them, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces before we let them go? Until next time. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, go ahead and give us a card, please. Here we go. All right, we have Rose. Rose has something to say to you guys, okay? All right, Rose, people in love, uh, people in love, alone, isolated from the world. That's, that is beautiful. I dig that. I can understand what Rose is talking about when she went through her experience. She knows that's why she's able to talk, okay? All these dolls, able, they, they had their own experiences, okay? So, you know, sometimes, you know, like I said, with the death card, you have to get rid of people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You have to isolate yourself from people. Because if people, you know, when you start bringing people into your personal private life and your relationships and stuff like that, don't y'all know that's when everything, that's when chaos starts? You think you have it? Oh, uh, 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 a dinner with a friend and, you know, next thing you know, the friend's back there in the, in the bathroom with your husband or your wife or your 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 person. You know, you, 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 you got to just... You got to have, a, when you have a mature, sensible relationship, when you have a relationship that is solely tied, like I said, I'm going to do a video on that so y'all can understand the difference from a soul, uh, a soul relationship, which is a gift from uh, the most high and what, you know, and um, a worldly relationship. Okay. There's a difference between the two. One of them is forever love. Even when you pass away, the other is just temporarily. And then you're just moving on to another and to another. And we don't want to get into that pattern. That's a pattern we have to break. And that, that, that causes a death, okay? A death not of a physical death, a death of your ego. Because we are mainly ego-driven in this world anymore. Everybody's all about themselves. They, they look up the stars and they, you know, use them as an example for their life. When, you know, hey, half that's, that's not real. That's, a, that's another illusion. And that's nothing but feeding your ego and, and keeping you disconnected from your true self. Your true, what you can make happen for yourself. We got to get this thing right, y'all. But until next time, I love you guys and take care. I'm going to talk to you next week. So long.